What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am here with my dogs. They are going to be joining me today. Um, I just recently got back from Las Vegas. I was on vacation for an entire week there and I did a lot of shopping while I was there. I literally think I shopped every single day. Um, it's my hobby, it's my sport, I'm good at it. I got a lot of stuff. So I figured I would break this up into two different videos. I'm going to do my makeup and like beauty haul first and then I'm going to do a clothes haul next. I got a lot of stuff. My pug wants to say hi. Tegan is a Boston Terrier pug mix. And I swear she's quiet all day until I start filming and then all of a sudden she's eating everything, she's licking, she's snorking, she's snoring. She waits until I film and then she's loud. You have to go down, I'm sorry. So where I stay in Las Vegas is a small timeshare that's just kind of like a block off the strip. And it is right next door to the Miracle Mile, which is in Planet Hollywood. And the Miracle Mile is just kind of like a mall of shops and they have a Morphe store there. I've never been to a standalone Morphe store. So I went a little crazy while I was in there and got a lot of good stuff just because I have really been liking Morphe's quality lately. I really feel like they're coming out with really good stuff and really high quality for a really good price. There's also a Sephora and NYX store in there, so I did hit up those too, but I feel like I just got so much bang for the buck at Morphe. So first I got this. It is a large size makeup brush holder for when you travel. I thought I might use this while I am doing makeup for weddings or clients or when I'm traveling. It's just really big and then you set it down like this and then you can keep clean brushes in one side and dirty brushes in the other or like face brushes and then eye brushes or whatever you want to do. Yeah, that's that. Next I, oh, next I got a bunch of brushes. I got two of each one, I believe, because I bought one for myself and then one for my, my makeup artist kit. I got these little guys. These are the Morphe M160. And basically they are just a very tiny eyeliner brush. I like these really, really small, precise ones for winged liner. And then I got these ones, which are the M160. And they are the same kind of like liner brush. I also like these for eyebrow with pomade. So I got two of those. I got two of the M507s. This is just a really small definer brush that I like to use in the crease with dark colored eyeshadows just for like kind of precision work. And same thing on these guys. These are the M149. They are just a really small detailed brush for dark colors. The next thing I got were a few pencils. I got three different colors, one in black called Dark Room, one in like a bronzy color called Laurel, and one in a olive green because I've been obsessed with olive green lately. These were only like three bucks and so I felt like they were a good deal. I'm excited to try that. Then I got this liquid lipstick here. It is in the color Spicy and it is just kind of like a burnt orange color. It is so pretty. I've worn it once already because I couldn't resist. And I was on the hunt for a like burnt orange lip. That's what it looks like. It is absolutely gorgeous and I actually really like the formula on this. It wasn't like overly drying on the lips, which was awesome. I hope you guys can't hear Tegan, she is chewing on a bone in the background, so if you hear some weird noises, that's what it is, but I'm just gonna let her do it. The next thing I am like literally obsessed with, I bought one and I went back and bought a second because I like this product so much. This is the bronzer and contour color in Fantabulous. It is super red based, which is what I was looking for. I like a really red colored bronzer. It's hard for me to find one that is like red enough. And so I bought one, I was obsessed. I went back the next day and bought a second one for a backup just in case, just in case. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like every time I love something, it gets discontinued. So now I have this fear that I have to like get one extra one just in case it gets discontinued without me knowing. Makeup PTSD or something. And then while I was there, the sales lady obviously showed me all of the new holiday stuff. 
and they all came in this like really pretty packaging. I threw away the other packaging because it was too bulky for the airplane, but I kept these in here. These are the Metallic Heat and Glitter Fever Metallic Eyeshadows. Personally, a big fan of liquid eyeshadows, if you guys don't know that already. So this is what the Metallic Heat set looks like. This one's like a dark olive green. This one's kind of like a bronzy color and then kind of like a red color. So here are the three colors on top. That is that like goldy green kind of color. I'm really into it. There is the bronzy one and then here is the red one. I am super excited to try these out. In the second package, the Glitter Fever. This is what the second package looks like. There is just this like black glittery, kind of like a pinky color and then this silver one. I did try the silver one previously and it was nice. These are a little more sheer. They're just like almost like a glitter top coat. There is that silvery one, the pink one, and then the black. So they're really pretty on top of like other eyeshadows, but they are a nice like little glitter topper and I did like the silver one. And I have one more thing from Morphe that I got and this is also from the holiday collection. It came in like that big pretty packaging as well, but I threw it away because it was too bulky. It is these lip toppers, which are kind of like a lip gloss or like you can put it on top of a lipstick. These are kind of the lighter colors. I don't know if you guys can see in the lights or in the camera, but they are so sparkly. They are like, they are so beautiful. Like they're just like little glitter bombs is how I would describe things. Every single one of them is glittery. There's no matte colors and I've only used a few of them and they all seem to have the same consistency, but the glitter is very, very fine and just so pretty. It, they are so pretty. Oh, look at those. They're gorgeous. I hope you guys can see how like glittery and reflective they are. They are just like the prettiest colors. Came in a set, so I think that there was 10 total and I think they were $29. I'm not too sure, I kind of forget. I just kind of blacked out while I was shopping and I put it all in the bag. Oh God. These are so pretty. I feel like they would look really good over like nude lipstick. Seriously, dying. Get these because I'm pretty sure they're limited edition. And I think that is everything that I got from the Morphe store. So now I'm going to move on to the NYX store. So I originally went into the NYX store because I am obsessed with this lippy right here and I was going to try to find a few backups. This is the NYX Extreme Shine Lip Cream in the color Skin Tone. I absolutely love this color on my lips. It is super pretty. It's kind of like a dark brown nude and I'm obsessed with it. And so I was like, oh, there's a NYX store. I'm gonna go get a few backups just in case I lose this one or you know, it's in a purse or something. And I went in there and the girl told me that she didn't have this in store and she's pretty sure that it might be discontinued. Um, so I freaked out. <laughs> but I found a color dupe while I was in store and honestly the formula feels really similar too so the reason I love this look so much is it's extremely pigmented it's almost like a gloss and a liquid lipstick mixed together and then she gave me this one because she told me this is also a gloss and that it's extremely pigmented this is the NYX Slip Tease Lip Lacquer in the color Urban Oasis so that is the color Urban Oasis. So they're not exactly the same, but they're close enough to where I feel like no one's gonna notice the difference. And so I picked that one up. And then I also got a few things for the eyes. I got this little guy. This is a NYX Glitter Goals Liquid Eyeshadow. It is just a champagne colored uh, liquid eyeshadow. It is just right there. It is in the color Polished Pinup. I don't know if I said that earlier. And then I got two pigments, which I absolutely love pigments. I think they just give such a beautiful look on the eye and really make it like metallic and glittery. A lot of people are really afraid to use pigments, but they're honestly not that hard. Here's the first one. They do come with a little sifter at the top, which is nice so it doesn't get everywhere. Not all pigments have that. And this is in the color uh, PIG 20. That is it right there. It is just super glittery, kind of like champagne color. It is so pretty. I love that. It's just, it's so glittery. 
It might be nice to do this liquid eyeshadow on bottom of the lid and then put this on top while this is still wet and tacky. And then next is this one. It is PIG40. It is a olive color. Like I said earlier, I've been really into the olive tones. It is just right there, kind of like a pearlescent green olive-y kind of color. That is everything from the NYX store. Then I went to Ross and found a few really good beauty items. This Ross was just like on the strip and we went in there. First I got this Laura Geller Hollywood Blushing Baked Blush Trio. I couldn't see the inside because it was in one of those like little plastic containers that make sure that you don't steal. <laughs> so I didn't really know what this looked like, but it is really pretty and I like it. It looks like this. This one's just like a darker blush, and then this one's just like really pink, and then kind of like a shimmery bronzer color. This would be good to put in like my purse or something like that on the go, and yeah, I liked it. I've used it a few times and it was pretty. I found these guys right here. These are from Lancome, and they are called Juicy Shakers and Matte Shakers. And don't let the bright colors fool you. They are extremely sheer. They are for a very light and natural lip, even though the colors look really intense. So let me show you. Top comes off and looks like this. It is really funny. The product itself is very oily. And then you put it on your lips. And I don't know if you guys can see right there where I swatched it, but it's just extremely... Um, sheer and beautiful. It just makes your lips look like they're nice and juicy. Um, they almost remind me like you just ate a popsicle and it kind of like stained your lips a little bit from the popsicle, but your po lips are like all glossy. So this is the color Freedom of Peach. And then this one right here is Mangoes Wild. They also smell delicious. They literally smell like popsicles. And then there is the swatch right there. It is just a really light wash of color. And then I tried this guy out, which is a matte nude shaker, and it is in the color Nude Votion. There is the last matte one called Nude Votion. It definitely isn't matte. I don't know why they call it matte. I like to wear those alone too. I don't like to put them on top of anything just because they are kind of like an emollient. So I just like to wear them on my own for like really light, no makeup, makeup days. Last thing I got at Ross was this e.l.f. lipstick. This is in the color Beautifully Bare. It is a satin lipstick. I've heard about this on YouTube before from someone that said it was like their favorite and they said it was a really good nude. It looks pretty. There is the swatch right there. It looks really moisturizing and just like a really pretty color. I haven't tried it yet, but it does look like a very natural, nice nude. And so I'm excited to try it out. All right, you guys, we are almost done. I just have a few more things. I'm sorry, this video is going to be like 10,000 years long. The next place I went was Ingla. If you guys have never been to an Ingla or don't know what Ingla is, you're missing out. It is literally one of my favorite makeup lines. No one talks about it. It is not hyped up enough. I don't know how more people aren't obsessed with it. It is a makeup line from Ireland and they have amazing products, beautiful pigments. They are so good and um, yeah, there's not that much hype around them as a brand. So I don't know what's up with that, but I love Inglot. So every time I am in Las Vegas, I go to the Inglot store because you can't really find them um, in too many places. I think they said that there are a few in Vegas and like Miami and one other place. I don't remember where, maybe New York. Um, yeah, so I always hit up the Inglot store and today, this time I only got two products just because I was just only trying to replenish my kit. I had bought a bunch of makeup already so I wasn't trying to go too crazy in there. I have a ton of Inglot products already so I only bought two things and these are both for my makeup artist kit. First is their setting spray. This is the Inglot Makeup Fixer. It is just a really good setting spray for makeup that helps your makeup last a lot longer and I really do find that this stuff works well. And the next one is just Inglot Duraline. If anybody has heard of Inglot it's probably through Duraline because this is probably one of their more famous products. This and their black gel eyeliner number 77 are the two things that people really talk about. Basically what Duraline is is a, just like a serum or oil and you just drop a few of these little drops into any cream products that you have that are dried out. So cream foundations, eyeliners, um, I put some in my brow pomade. 
anything that is cream that starts to get dried out before it is all the way completely gone this really just helps it come back to life and like re-moisturizes it without ruining it because sometimes if you put a little bit of oil in there it will ruin the product and the product consistency is never the same but if you put Duraline in there it doesn't ruin the consistency of the makeup it just kind of revives it so this is a staple for keeping cream products alive until you're completely done with them. Last place I went was Sephora. I was trying to be really good in there because I didn't want to spend too much money. You know how Sephora is. You go in there and breathe and it costs $20. So I was just trying to keep myself on a tight budget and I got two things. First was this little Kapari lip kit. Um, these two came together and I think they were $20 in a little like holiday set. This is just the Kapari Lip Glossy and this is the Kapari Coconut Lip Scrub. I wanted to buy these also for my makeup artist kit to just prep the skin before doing makeup. I heard really good things about the lip glossy and that was really, really moisturizing to the lips. So I was conflicted if I wanted to buy this or the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask, which I've also heard amazing things about. Um, I ended up going with this just because it was more affordable and I got a kit for two for like the same price as just one. And then this is the coconut lip scrub. I haven't tried this out, but I just thought it would be good for clients that lips are really dry and maybe they haven't moisturized and exfoliated their lips before their appointment. So I just decided to grab that. The last thing I got from Sephora was a perfume. This is the Replica by the Fireplace perfume. The large one was way too expensive for me. So I just got the broke girl version this was $25 and it is a really nice fall scent it really does smell kind of like a um very fall I'm not good at describing smells of perfumes but if you guys are anywhere in Sephora check this one out it smells really good and this little guy was only 25 bucks so I thought it was a nice fall and winter scent all right you guys that is it for my Vegas makeup haul I know I went a little crazy and this video is probably really long if you stayed all the way till the end you're the real MVP and I love you so much um that is about it I have got to go stay tuned for my Vegas clothing haul because I also got a lot of sweaters and skirts and jeans and just other stuff I got a lot of other stuff okay <laughs> All right, you guys, I will just see you later. Bye.